Good morning, Falcons. I'm Clark. And I'm Sam. And today is Monday, October 19th. And thank you for tuning in to SHS TV. This year, the music department has undergone some changes with the absences of Mr. Boyd and Mr. Ford. We talked to some of the students and staff to see how things have been going. The current subs right now to cover um, for Mr. Ford, we have Miss Nakagawa. To cover for Mr. Boyce and his orchestra side of things is Mr. Norm D. Miss Nakagawa, she's a former teacher. She used to teach at, I think, Pinewood schools. She went to San Jose State. She had a master's degree from a really famous choral conductor, um, Dr. Archibek. Um, something that she added. Um was a lot more use of examples and she's more uh, patient <laughs> than what Mr. Ford used to be. Um, but yeah, she's, she's doing a good job. Mr. D is, is a, kind of a legendary music educator in California. We have a, um, like a specialized person that plays that instrument in the breakout room with us and we're working on repertoire. And we are planning one, uh, kind of a big department concert in December. Earlier this month, there was a lot of uncertainty about what was happening with popular social media app, TikTok. Here's what our reporters found out. The U.S. government has had serious concerns of TikTok, a Chinese-based company stealing personal information from its users. There's been multiple threats within the past couple of months for a ban on TikTok. The first potential ban on TikTok was hinted at during a press conference at the White House, and the threat lasted until September 19th, when President Trump made a deal making Oracle the cloud provider for TikTok in the U.S. and having Walmart buy 7.5% of TikTok. Also making CEO of Walmart, Doug McMillan, one of the five board members. Oracle being a U.S. trusted cloud provider, its partnering with, with TikTok was a solution to the government's worries. Currently, there's no threat of a ban on the popular app. During quarantine, everyone has had to adapt and make the most of our current situation. We took a closer look at how SHS clubs have been maneuvering these turbulent times. Having our meetings once a week, we are trying to find ways that we can either continue with some of those projects we were doing or find other ways to kind of enact environmental change in our communities. Since many of our projects are hands-on and are done in teams and um, have a lot of person-to-person -person contact, our options are a lot more limited now. And the Red Cross Club is usually really collaborative, interactive, and participation-based. So moving things online has been really rough. Um, but we still have a lot of fun together during meetings, and we have a lot of projects going on. big pro I've noticed is kind of along the same lines, where we have been able to get a lot more people to come to our meetings. And I think part of that is because there's a lot more flexibility as to when we can schedule them. Like clubs, especially in online learning, are going to be a like really central part of the social interaction on online school. Over the past few months, California has had some pretty crazy weather, including heat waves and dry lightning. Here is Altitude Allison catching you up with the latest. should be nice and mostly sunny, so find some time to go outside, soak up some rays, and enjoy yourself. Today, temperatures will range in the high 70s to mid 50s, and we will be looking at some nice clear skies. Tomorrow should be partly cloudy with a predicted high of 83 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. On Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be seeing similar weather with highs in the low 80s and lows in the mid 50s. It's going to start cooling off on Friday and Saturday, so we'll be looking at temperatures in the high 70s throughout the day with partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid 50s at night. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Altitude Allison. Thank you for tuning in to SHS TV. This is Sam Titherington signing off. And I'm Clark Torres. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.